Hey, my name's Hannah. I'm a senior communications major at SUNY Purchase. You're listening to Talking with Tots, and we're going to talk to kids about today's topics and politics. Today, I'm talking with Abby, and Abby is currently a substitute teacher at a school district in Rockland County. She is a SUNY Purchase alumni like myself, and she is currently a full-time student and getting her master's at Stack. Good morning. How are you? I'm just grand. Hope your day is great. (laughs) Do you want to give a little intro? Well, I studied... um, a little bit about myself. I studied liberal studies at Purchase because I knew I wanted to continue my education and get um, and work in the education field. So I was already too late in changing my major at Purchase to education. So I got a liberal studies degree, which, you know, allowed me to then go and pick a master's degree in education and that's what I'm currently working on at Stack. Um, I'll be working in elementary education. I'm getting dual certified with special education as well. So, Awesome and is that you want to do little kids? Yeah I much prefer to work with like younger kids. I like to see the way they're like you know little minds work. Yeah, so that's that's why I want to do the podcast with kids because I just feel like their minds are just a little, like really innocent and you can like I just want to talk with them about politics, see where they're at, like see what they think. But like adults, I just feel are too set in their ways. Yeah, they're very free thinkers, very creative, um, and they don't have they don't because they don't know too much about anything yet. <laughs> they have these outrageous opinions on things and reasons for why things are the way that they are and just it's never a dull moment so I get that while you're substituting the kids like have you found any certain politics like anything that you would consider politics that they're being taught or like that they're being exposed to at school not so much for like younger kids I'd say probably between you know, preschool to second grade. Around third grade is when, um, you know, later in the school year, they start to learn about the branches of the government. So sometimes teachers will start to bring in um, some politics, you know, in, in town. They try and keep the governmental, is that, I think that's what I mean to say, politics out of the classroom just because parents are very sensitive about what their kids are learning and you know nobody wants to offend anybody or you know get anybody else in trouble so they try and keep you know broad politics like that out of the classroom but no they they, they'll start to learn about you know like state government um, town government that kind of thing especially now like you don't like want to bring up like oh Trump and then have somebody somebody's parents like especially now I can't even imagine like trying to talk in the classroom which like I understand but it's just weird to think about I guess it's taboo yeah so at what age do you think that kids should be talking about politics, whether it's like, like I know in my podcast, when I have my first kid that I'm going to talk to, we're going to talk about like anti-maskers and like what they think about that and how people are reacting to the coronavirus. And like, at what age do you think that that should be talked about? Um, well, so a big part of learning about, to teach a kid, you have to learn about their psychology first and their developmental skills. And I think that as soon as, um, well, maybe not as soon as, but 
when you start to see their devel developmental skills on like metaphorical thinking and processing and you know when they're developmentally appropriate maybe to talk about it because I don't I don't know like when you think about such big policies and such um yeah policies and you know other things like that you want to be able to have all the facts and to be able to fully grasp what people are saying and, and decipher it so I think that once you they've reached that age, which is probably honestly what I've seen, not until like, it's still a little hairy at ages 14. So that's pretty old, you know, where they can't fully grasp. They think they can. <laughs> We'd love to see preteens and their opinions, but they're, they're just not fully de developed yet, which is, you know, you could start to introduce it and try and teach them about it, but them forming their opinions yet at that age is a little interesting. I'll say, I'll say it's interesting. Yeah, I definitely think that exposing them, like obviously the development isn't until a certain age, mm -hmm. probably around the same for everybody, but I definitely think that within your own home yeah is where you're gonna see that you're not going to have a kid and you're not gonna talk about an anti-masker and get like their true opinion if their parents are anti-maskers and they hear it all the time saying this mask isn't doing anything i'm not gonna wear a mask it's taking exactly. rights you're not gonna get the child's actual viewpoint if their parent is like whispering that in their ear all the time you know what i mean well, exactly. Kids are um, a sponge. So anything that they hear, whether it's, you know, a tall tale or actual fact, they, they can't decipher that. So, and if you can even ask the same kid the same question a week apart and their opinion will be completely different and they'll have completely different reasons why. And that's that's just where they act developmentally. I wanted to talk to Abby because I knew that she would have a lot to say about me talking with kids about politics. She works with kids all the time and it's been a dream job of hers and she's finally starting out and she's substituting. And I wanted to see what she had to say about the kids that she works with and what she's seen. I just wanted to say thank you, Abby, and thank you all for listening. We're going to talk about politics and introduce our first kid on the next podcast on Talking with Tots. Mm -hmm.